I know I haven't been on this channel in a little while, and that's not me not wanting to be it, it's just life. And as you guys know, like life gets in the way of a lot of things, things I do want to start uploading a lot more. And the style of content that I'm going to be uploading is going to be very different than the style of content I used to do. I used to do pranks and stuff, and I know a lot of you guys still follow me for pranks. Pranks is just no longer my thing, you know? As, as, as people, we mature over time, and we, we grow up, and we just do differently things, and we, we go to different paths in life. So I'm definitely still not gonna be stopping YouTube. Like YouTube's like my passion shit. I love YouTube, I love uploading. It's a way to me for it to express my feelings and how I feel. It's a very good way to me to just like get it out of my system. So yeah, I'm definitely gonna still be posting videos. It's just gonna be different style videos, but nonetheless, they're gonna be very good videos. And I have cool stuff in store for you guys. Short films on the way, uh, cinematic vlogs, all that cool stuff. We're gonna be posting a lot more cooler things. Um, but yeah, in this video, I'm not really gonna have a filter. I'm really just gonna be speaking my mind on subjects that I just wanna get off my chest and that some of you have been asking. So yeah, I hope you guys like this video. And if you do, just let me know down below if you want more of these style videos. And like I said, I'm not gonna have a filter this video. I'm just really just gonna speak my mind. So if you can respect that in the comments, I would really appreciate it. And um, if you have anything to say, if you're going through the same shit I'm going through, just let me know. Yeah, let's get on with the video. So guys, first thing I do want to say is sorry. Sorry I haven't been uploading. But um, as you know, life gets in the ways of things. I've been working nonstop. Um, I haven't even had time for myself to enjoy. So yeah, that's why I haven't been uploading. And through these past months, I just feel like I just needed a mental break for myself because um, we've literally been uploading videos for like two years straight before this year. Like we were uploading videos every single week, so I feel like I deserved a break or a little time off, you know, because I was really putting in that work and like we were fucking filming every day, filming short films, filming sketches, posting stuff on TikTok, posting stuff on Instagram, so I just wanted to take a little bit of a break. Um, I'm only human at the end of the day, you know, but I definitely do want to start uploading like on a regular basis again. Um, the beginning of like last year and the, the end of last year, my mental like stable, like it wasn't, it wasn't as good as it used to be, like... I, was, I, I always been like a positive like guy but um i don't know i feel like social media and shit just makes you like not depressed but it just makes you like sad it makes you think of shit like you know like you see all these other people living the lifestyle you want to live and your, your life's not exactly where you want it to be it doesn't mean that your life's not worth living if a break off of social media i feel like it was the best for me um but i definitely want to start uploading like i said um and just as a person i've been changing a lot recently and I think that's a good thing. I think when you get older, you grow into somebody that you want to be for the rest of your life. And I feel like I'm almost there, you know? The person I was a couple years ago, I hate. You know what I mean? Like, those vlogs and shit that I used to do, I mean, they're okay, but I don't like them, you know? 
I was such a different person back then. It's just like I used to put out anything I filmed. I just wanted to put out even if it wasn't good. Now I take pride in what I do and I want I want the best quality content, the best equipment, all that stuff. I don't want to half-ass anything. And also, a lot of people ask me like why I started YouTube and stuff. And this is a little bit of deep why I started YouTube or why I restarted YouTube. Um, I felt alone for most of my life. Um, and um, during like COVID and stuff, my grandpa had passed away. I don't live with my dad and he was like a dad figure to me. So that took a big toll on me. Um, and then I just like, me and my friends weren't like talking as much. Also Dom, we, we, we weren't talking as much because over COVID we just like drifted away. And that's life, you know what I mean? It wasn't intentionally, but that's what, just what happens. Um, and then I found like this girl, I don't want to name her, she like made me feel good again like she made me feel like life was worth living you know um she was always there for me she was the one person i've ever met that like she loved me for me and now people all these people are trying to change stuff like what i do like oh youtube's corny posting outfits on your instagram is corny she was a person that just loved me for me and i never felt like that before she like just no matter what i did she was there to support me and she just made me feel at home even when i wasn't and um, when I was dating her, it's like I tried my best to be the best boyfriend I could possibly be, but I just felt like I wasn't enough. Um, yeah, I just felt like I wasn't enough. And it's like when we broke up, I felt so alone. And like she was the first girl I ever like really loved. I loved her to death. Like I would literally do anything for her. And once we broke up, I just like, would always text her, being like trying to check in on her. And she just like would tell me like, oh, don't text me, don't call me. It's like, it's not good for my mental health. So like, I don't know, it's a whole bunch of stuff. And it's like, it's not like we ended up on super bad terms. It's not like none of us cheated. None of us, we weren't, nothing like that. It was just life, you know what I mean? And I still do miss her. And I, I hope that she still misses me. And people always ask like, oh, Luigi, why do you not get in a relationship? Why are you not getting a relationship? It's like, I don't want to get in a relationship. I felt... I felt that feeling with somebody else and it's like nothing else compares to that. When Once you're in love, it's like such a crazy feeling. And we broke up, what, three years ago? And I still think about her, you know? Every night I go to bed, I still think about her. And people, when I ask people, like when I tell people that, they're like, oh, get over it, da 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 da, -da. there's more fish in the sea. You know, you hear all the, you hear all of it. Um, but it's easier said than done. When you feel that type of way about a person, when you ask somebody advice and they just tell you that, get over it, it's like, you don't even know. You don't even know what I've been through, you know? And currently, when we were dating, while we were in dating, my friend Zakai, he ended up moving away. And I, like, we just, we weren't as talking as much because he moved. And she, like, filled in that hole. So I didn't really realize he was gone. Like, I did, but I didn't. Because she filled in that hole for me. And it was, like, every day I sat with her at lunch, and I felt like I still had someone. She made me feel like nothing ever mattered. Like, she made me feel like life was worth living. Like, she was the best. Um, She was the best. Fucking... When Zakai moved and I just like, I don't know, it was crazy. I didn't realize, but once we broke up and she didn't sit with me at more, she didn't sit with me anymore at lunch. I just looked around. I was like, fuck, I'm a loser. I sat, I sat alone every single day at lunch, every single day by myself at lunch. I sat alone for the rest of the year by myself. And then I felt like a piece of shit. I didn't talk to Dom. I didn't talk to Zakai. And I, I, I didn't talk to my girlfriend because we were broken up. And I just felt so alone. And this one girl was texting me. I'm not going to name any names. This one girl was texting me. And I was just so lonely that any any type of like uh, any type of interaction with somebody would just make me feel happy again. So she was texting me like a month or two after we broke up. This other girl speaking all nice, like like all this stuff. So we started talking. And I started to catch feelings super quick. But I don't think it's because I really liked her. It's because I just felt so lonely that somebody was showing me attention. I just loved it. You know what I mean? And then she was just being sweet to me and then all like, I want to go to prom with you, all this stuff. And I was like, alright, that's fine. We were ended up we wanted to go to prom. Like the two weeks after prom, she posted up on her story and she was with somebody else. And that just like made that just like broke me, you know what I mean? And after that I got re attached with all my friends and stuff. Good for them that they were like even there for me at that point to like even want to talk to me after I didn't talk to them for months. You know what I mean? I felt selfish, you know? I just like I I'm thankful that the girl I did eat, I did date. She changed me as a person. I'm so much of a better person than I am today. 
because of her. I really truthfully feel that. It was the most best feeling, the best experience I ever felt in my whole life. She just made me feel so alive, you know? Um, and it's crazy to think about. Like, it's like I can feel still when she's hurting. I can feel when she's happy. It's like she's like she's like my soulmate. Like, you don't understand. People are like, oh, you never know when you're in love. I knew the moment I met her, I was in love. Like, I, like, I wanted the rest of my life. Like, understand, when you want to spend the rest of your life with somebody, you want the rest of your life to start as soon as possible. You know what I mean? So when she left, that just broke me as an individual. Then me and Dominic got back into contact. Um, and then we started posting videos. And I loved it. I was happy again. It was like, damn. I'm finally back to my old self. I, I felt happy. I could connect with people. We started gaining a fan base. It was sick. I loved it. People were hitting me up all the time like, hey, I love your videos. This inner, thank you. I needed this today. I needed that. You know what I'm saying? And it was cool. Me and Dominic would bond over that. And we, we, we would get better and better and better. And I, that's why I loved YouTube. YouTube was so awesome for me. Like, it was so sick. Like, it was like a way for me to express myself without expressing myself. You know what I mean? It was like a, a getaway from life. You know, me and Dominic both helped each other. We got super close with that. And I just loved it. Every every bit of it I loved. Um, but yeah, other than that, I know I got really deep there. Um, I just really wanted to get that off my chest so you guys know. Maybe you guys are going through the same things and that can help you out. You know what I mean? I feel way better than talking to a camera than talking to somebody that doesn't care. You know, like going to a therapist or something. Uh, yeah fucking I want to do more interaction videos talking day in the life get ready all that shit I want to do all that type of style just life capturing life capturing life making short films I want I want this channel to be when I get older I can look back and I'll be like damn this is me when I was like 15 16 17 year 18 or 19 years old like this is me I can show my kids and then my, my, my friends that are in the videos, they can show their kids. It's like you're capturing life and you can show everyone. Um, but yeah, I'm definitely going to be changing up my content. I hope that you guys stay along with me because that's what I would want. And my, my, my mental health and everything is way better than what, what, it, what it used to be. I'm just a so much better person. I've grew in the last year that I've grown in like the last eight years. I'm just such a different person now. I look at life so much differently. Um, and yeah, I feel like some of you guys can already tell just the way I post up, the way I talk and everything else. For the longest time when I was younger, I thought that being a man was just like holding back all your feelings and just keeping it to yourself. But at the end of the day, what, who does that help? You're going to die and you're never going to, like, nobody's going to ever know how you actually felt. How you, you, I feel like it's such a good way to express yourself. Just express yourself. No matter if you're a man, a female. It don't matter just express yourself like we only have one life and people are like oh i'm a man i'm a man i can't i can't tell a girl how i feel i can't tell this oh i feel like this i used to be the same way i used to be so stuck up i couldn't i couldn't even talk about my feelings i used to hold it all in i couldn't talk at all um but now i'm, I'm getting very better at like just talking about my feelings and how i really feel about life and stuff and i'm thankful for everybody i have around me that like motivates me and like we all feed off each other's good energy but yeah I don't know. Like I was saying, we wanted to switch up the scenery a little bit. But um, yeah, at the end of the day, I'm only human. Life's a learning experience. I'm always learning and bettering myself. But I hope the people that, um, that I had an interaction with back then, they see that I've changed. You know what I mean? I, I, I'm such a better person now that I am, that I was. Especially for the girl I dated. I don't know. Hopefully, maybe this goes on her like page or something. She sees this and she's like, he changed. You know? Because I truthfully did. And I want her to, you know, be proud of me and shit. I'm not the person I used to be. And I think that's all just like a learning experience. You, you live and you learn and you become a better person. Um, and I think I am. Um, I can happily say that I think I am. At least I'm trying to. And that's all you can really do as a person is just try, you know? You're never gonna know unless you try. And that's with every aspect of life. Um, and I, I know it's like a really real, real video. Like I'm just like really just speaking my mind. I know it's very different than all my other videos, but I feel like this is needed, you know? Because I wanna show people that it's not, it's not like insane to speak how you feel. Like you should be able to speak how you feel. Why ball it up every single night you go to sleep? 
and you can't go to sleep at night because of it. I think it's it's a beautiful thing to speak how you feel. We're human at the end of the day. We all have feelings. We all go through things, you know? And that's that's another reason why I want to post this is because people might be going through the same things I'm going through and they don't know how to they don't know how to handle it. Bro, for the most of my life, for the the the, the first and second year of us breaking up, I was fucking depressed. I couldn't I couldn't even sleep at night. Every night I would go to sleep thinking about her. I would have I would have these crazy dreams, you know? And it's like I'm bettering myself. I thought that I would never be happy again and I'm slowly starting to become myself again. You know? And that's life. You become better over time. And I, I back then I, I would hold all my feelings in, and that did not help with anything, anything at all. And I, I finally can sit here happily and say that I'm becoming a better person. I can speak about how I feel. And posting this on the internet is basically showing you that I can speak how I feel, and I'm not scared who hears or sees it. We're all human at the end of the day, like I said. Um, and I really do. If, if you get one thing from this video, I hope that it's like that you don't feel alone, instantly. Uh, I'm going to be going to uh, a place very soon, and I'm gonna be filming like vlog style videos there, and they're gonna be very, very different. Very, very different. And they are gonna, I'm gonna try to at least post like two times a week. Two times a week, yeah, I could definitely do that. Two times a week in the summertime uh, when I go here. Uh, the style content's gonna be insane. Um, there's gonna be like vlog, day in the life, Instagram is going to be flooded with content. It's going to be like beaches. You name it. It's going to be a lot of cool content. I can't wait for you guys to see that. It's going to be actually like insane. And the 